friends, this is Kachi, a.k.a. Delacaba, and I'm here in Red Feather Falls up in the northwest portion of it on a somewhat rainy morning with my new pal, Daisy. Now, I was honored to be one of the individuals who was tapped to help beta test the scent hounds, and so I literally watched these guys grow from a kind of goofy, almost useless item into just an amazing and amazing asset here in game. And so I've got my brand new Pulsar bow with me. I've also got my 300 with my brand new 10 power scope. Oh, I'm excited. It's a 10 power scope. And we're going to do us some hunting and we're going to get Daisy trained up. She's brand new. She's wearing her founder's collar, which is pretty rocking. But enough jibber jabber. Let's get to the hunting here. All right, Daisy girl. I'm so glad to meet you. She's one of the light-colored females. And let's pull up the map here. I'll show you where I am here. I'm at my tent, which is right up here, like I say, in the northwest corner. What we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be taking a little bit different route than I usually do. We're going to be working our way up and around and across down this way to the river and down this way. Normally I go down on like this, but of course Daisy's going to have an awful lot of trouble tracking through the water. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put her through her paces. So let's let her know it's time to follow along. Come on, darling. Let's do this. Now, the, the kind of the, the test for me with the dogs here in the game is when I find myself talking to them and I found pretty quickly as we were beta testing them that I started talking to my dogs now during the beta test I had all four of the dogs and the first one that I got looked just like the blue tick coon hound that my pa used to have named Duke he named him after the Dukes of Hazards he's crazy about that program and so Following in family tradition, I named my four dogs Bo, Luke, Daisy, and Jesse. And I decided I would stick with that, and that's why I've named her Jesse. And we're just going to work our way along, see what we see. It's nice because we've got this rain. Actually, a lot of people don't care for the rain. But how you doing? You keeping up with me, sweetie pie? All right, good deal. Um... A lot of people don't care for the rain, but I like it, especially up on this end with the black deer. They're mighty skittish, and there is a definite spook radius to these dogs. But what we're going to do is we're going to work our way up to this little lake up here, see if there's any moose around. And Now, the odds are real good that if I come across an animal and, and I shoot with the 300, I'm going to put him down. Shooting with the bow, well, that can be a little bit different. It all kind of depends on you know what the situation is and so that's why I figured I'd bring Daisy with because well if we end up getting a shot on something with this new pulsar and it takes off should get a chance to do her tracking and we got a female moose she's off over there but I sure thought it'd be pretty neat to bring y'all with me while I start to train up Daisy you know, one of the things that I found was tremendously, tremendously useful when it comes to uh, testing the, the hounds in beta was when, you know, of course, we'd come up on an animal, I'd take a kind of a lousy shot, which it really was difficult. i got to tell you, morally, it was very difficult for me, but taking body shots and gut shots and, and hind, hind quarter shots and things like that to give the dogs a definite trail to track. And... One of the things that I ran into a couple of times was when we'd come to a point where the animal had retreated along its original incoming path and it run back and forth a bit and you had just a whole collection of tracks. And, you know, my dogs, without any trouble whatsoever, would stick on the correct track going up out of it. And that whole confusion trying to read them tracks and get that sorted out was was a non-issue the second place that I found it really neat was there was a couple of times when the hunter mate the tracks and my previous experience playing the hunter as well as real life experience 
all told me the tracks went off in a particular direction and I actually kind of chided the dog when it went taken off in a different direction but you know what the dog was right so overall I gotta say I'm real pleased there were lots of little bugs and funny things that happened along the way um, it you know one of the things is that you know trying to add in ambient sounds they had given the dog a little a little whine and a lot of jowl clop you know as, and chuffing and stuff and the thing is is that the person who recorded the dog didn't realize that the wine they'd recorded was a was an anxiety wine and we got us a oh look at that nine that a well-behaved dog she sat right down Get her ears flap I got to tell you they did a great job but we got a female moose up ahead so I'm gonna tell Daisy to stay put right here now I'm just gonna slip up with this new bow of mine and just see where this big old girl is I don't feel like getting charged this morning Well, I don't see her. I sure do like the sight on this pulsar. I got the five pin sight. And I was confused because looking at it, it looks like them sights are side to side and, you know, stacking down. But actually, that's just because the bow is at an angle. You're seeing it a little bit from the side. But I'm anxious not only to shoot my new bow. But I'm anxious to put Daisy on a trail, get her training. So, well, normally I wouldn't mess with a cow. I'm going to take this cow if I can. Looks like she went on down the hill there. Alrighty. Get Daisy on up here with me. Now because I'm in a crouch, Daisy will be moving in a crouch and she'll be falling a little bit behind me. And it is kind of a handy trick. Have your dog stay. And, oh, another moose track there. Have your dog stay and then call them and move away in a crouch and they'll stay back a bit. I'm not seeing that old girl. Where'd she go? Yeah, so Daisy's still back there a bit, which is just fine with me. It kind of keeps her out of the way. Pretty sure I saw the track come on down this way. Slid down the hill a little bit there. I thought Daisy had pushed me. Yeah, she went on down this way, I think. Yeah, she was right through here just a few moments ago. We're gonna work our way on down. Because I want to pick her up, I want to get a shot on her, and get Daisy on the track. One of the things that's neat is if the dog happens to get stuck for any reason. Uh, she's close. If the dog happens to get stuck for any reason, um, it'll try to get out, and if it can't, what it'll do is it'll actually teleport to the owner. But overall, we went through four or five updates over the course of testing the dogs. And uh, each one fixed a few little issues and improved things. And, you know, like I say, the wine that they had the dog doing, number one, was coming way too often. And number two, it was an anxiety wine. And the problem I was having is I'd be moving along and the dog would be making this anxiety wine about every three seconds. And it made me really uncomfortable because, you know, I mean, the dog was telling me something's wrong. And so... You know, it, it 
got very disturbing, very distressing, and I posted about it in our in our private forum we had for the testing, and they uh, they pulled it out, which was nice. A lot, well, a number of people complained about it, not just me. I want to make sure that's understood. All right, Daisy. Stay. Good job. And that's a good girl. I'm going to slip on up here and get a range on this moose. Poke a hole in her. I can slip between here, yeah. All right. She's right up over there somewhere. There she is. That tree's at 35, and she is at 51. Boy, that draws fast. The hell? I must. That was kind of weird. She sat down and she stood back up again. I think. Did I drop her? What the hell? Pretty sure it goes 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, I know what I did. <laughs> Went the wrong direction with my pins. Except I think I just did a 60 yard shot and, he's, and she's out beyond that now. Well, I kind of don't mind that I missed her now. Where's that fella? Ah, he's up on this side of the lake. All right. And see if we can get this big old boy. I'd much rather take a bull. But yeah, that first shot, I was shooting on the 30-yard pin. No wonder I missed her. But this bow draws immensely quickly. And it's really, really quiet. I mean, tremendously quiet. It's got string dampeners and all that stuff going on. Where are you, dude? I know you're close. Oh, there's his track. It's nice we got the rain. Like I say, that that really helps. Especially having the dog with me. But she's been listening really good. I'm sure she's got to be got to be gaining experience one step at a time here. Let's see, that's him going the other way, huh? All right. Well, I think he's across over that way. on up and get a look but the dog is really easy to to control and you know keep a keep a handle on and see if we can see him out there anywhere I think he's actually up in there somewhere See if we can find this big old feller. Hopefully he'll give a call again. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't keep my dot. Darn it. But I think he's up over in here. So one of the reasons I've, I've got my tent sent up on this end is uh, there are some real nice big moose that come through here. There's a lot of black bear up here. Lots of black tails. Where'd you 
go, you big old son of a gun. I'm pretty darn sure he called from out in here, but you know, I'm not seeing his track, so I'm wondering if maybe actually he, he called from back in here. But I called my, my first dog Bo Wonderfoot because the early dogs were just constantly in front of your legs, constantly under your feet, constantly getting in the way. Yes, we may have to may have to find his track and track him, Daisy. Oh, nope, by golly, there he is. He just give his holler. We're just gonna now am I seeing him right there? Nope. You hang tight, Daisy. Shut yourself down. This fella ain't too far out here now. I have to keep my eyes peeled so I don't get charged. Oh, there he is. How's he looking? Oh, he's not too shabby. Oh, he's, he's stuck too. And bring her to 50. There we go. He's got himself stuck, and I'm certainly going to take advantage. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to. Part of me says I should let him get loose first, but... What the hell? Did I hit him or not? I think I did. Honestly, I can't tell. The heck. I mean, the bow sure was quiet, but he lit out in a hurry. So I'm hoping that means I hit him. It's pretty steep in here, so he should have himself a little trouble getting on up out of here. this fella or not oh yeah yeah I hit him in fact I hit him darn good heart and lungs he shouldn't have gone far all right Daisy time to track that blood track him out oh you didn't understand that all right let's try her again track him out there you go here I'll stand up so you can move track him out there you go. Doing a good job. But to set the dog on a trail, you have to have an initial blood patch. Now, of course, blue tick hounds are world famous for being cold trackers. They can track a, a cold, you know, a trail that's been around a while. You couldn't have lost track of them yet. You know, there's some kind of dogs that are hot trackers and some that are cold trackers. A hot tracker tracks a fresh track really well. A cold tracker can track an old track. And blue tick coon hounds happen to be excellent, excellent cold trackers. Oh, sounds like she found him. Well, there we go, my friends. Our first successful hunt with Daisy the Wonder Hound. Not a bad moose at all. Oh, 
there's that that cow again she's still back up in that neighborhood but this is one of the places that I honestly think you know I wouldn't hunt with Daisy much just cuz I'm used to used to work in this you know it's it's pretty easy to deal with territory but I'll tell you what winter rhyme now winter rhyme can be a real monster because it gets so bright that it's almost impossible to find the track sometimes you know if it's if it happens to be cloudy or if it happens to be snowing the, the tracks really stand out great against the snow but the thing is is that when you got a real bright sunny day in winter rhyme and you're trying to track an animal it can be so difficult and I'm really looking forward really really looking forward to going to winter rhyme with Daisy so I'm gonna quit recording this here episode but I'm gonna go and I am going to do a hunt in winter rhyme and take Daisy to Wonderhound with me and I'll see you guys there <laughs>